Thank you very much. Thank you. It's, it's great to be part of a sector that's uh, experiencing such great growth and uh, so much enthusiasm from investors. Uh, battery minerals, that's why we're here today. Um, you're going to hear a lot of statistics today. This is my contribution. Uh, just some cartoons from Benchmark Mineral Intelligence telling us we're going to need 70 more new lithium mines and plants by 2035, 60 more new nickel mines and plants. Uh, lithium giants, Albemarle, the nickel giant, BHP, are also telling us we need multiple uh, of what we have today in the lithium and nickel space. Where is all that uh, metal going to come from is the question. What's the supply response? Uh, well, in this world, people only do things for profit. So uh, it's quite clear that the only way we're going to get that uh, exploration and development and production of more metals is if the metal price stays at an elevated price uh, to incentivize that investment. So that's great for a, for a long-term uh, strong outlook for the metal price. And this next quote from the uh, CEO of LG Chem to me is very, very telling. I'll read it out. We are preparing ourselves, first of all, to secure a supply of raw material, which is more important than the price. Our first and foremost priority is to secure enough raw material for the future. That is music to a miner's ears. Uh, first priority is to secure a supply of raw material, which is more important than the price. So to me, we're looking at a very strong price outlook. Uh, yes, it's a clean energy mega trend, and St. George is positioning itself to, to be part of this uh, multi-decade trend. Um, electric vehicles and other energy solutions are driving this, and, and that's what we're about. We're about discovery uh, and development in St. George. We are building a portfolio of exploration projects here in Western Australia. We are looking at other T1 jurisdictions as well, but Western Australia is a great um, jurisdiction to be in. Uh, we're lucky enough to, uh, last year, signed up uh, some global battery uh, players as, as strategic partners. Um, uh, Western Australia is the number one hard rock lithium address in the world, uh, and it's attracting foreign investment, which is wonderful. Uh, we have three strategic partners. Um, it's Shanghai Jason, world's leading cathode precursor producer. S-Volt, it's a spin-off from Great Wall Motors, a big automaker in China, a big battery maker in their own right. Uh, and Sunwoda Electronic, which is uh, a top 10 uh, world battery producer, top five in China. Uh, producing batteries for a range of products, including uh, your normal appliances. Uh, so, of course, they're interested in a potential offtake that we might have at Mount Alexander. That still has to evolve itself. Uh, they're interested in working with us for the acquisition and exploration of, of new projects. So they're happy to come uh, down the curve into the exploration front. They're not just looking at advanced projects where this offtake is imminent. And uh, quite surprisingly, they're interested in maybe developing downstream lithium assets in, in Western Australia. So uh, watch this space. Uh, there are a lot of uh, downstream processing in China, not very much in Western Australia. We're very, very good at exploration development, not so good at downstream lithium assets, but maybe with the support of our strategic partners, that can change. Quick corporate snapshot there. Um, Probably the, the two keys on this slide are our share price performance. So that's the 12 month share price performance. Uh, we had a bit of a low last year, but uh, we've come back very, very strong since we found our lithium uh, prospects out at Mount Alexander. So uh, it just shows you what a big driver is, uh, lithium is for, for share price valuation and company valuation. The other key point on this page is probably uh, our technical team, uh, the directors are there, but more importantly, our technical team, Julian Hanna, Charles Wilkinson, and the younger Dave Mahone, all proven track record in exploration and discovery. So hopefully we'll do it all again at St. George. Our market cap is uh, 50 million, so it's just a fraction of where we're going to be when we start making our big discoveries. Our project portfolio is all here in Western Australia. Uh, Mount Alexander is, uh, is really the flagship that you're probably all aware of. We've made some fantastic nickel copper discoveries there, but we've now also got a really strong lithium uh, pipeline there too. Wulganji is a project that we purchased uh, earlier this year. It's got lithium potential plus rare earths plus copper. Patterson, up in the Patterson province uh, with uh, uh, Rio Tinto's Winu discovery up there and Agena and Broadview. Uh, these are in the Western Yilgarn, so they're a bit of a play on the Chalice Julemar discovery, which is in the, the Western Yilgarn, uh, underexplored areas which are possibly prospective for nickel copper PGEs. 
Mount Alexander, where the lithium has overtaken our nickel story over there at the moment, I think. Uh, we've got 15 kilometre uh, pegmatite corridor. It starts uh, down where Red Dirt has made its Mount Ida discovery. So they've also already established their resource, as you probably know, and are fast tracking it to discovery, to development, sorry. Um, so it's giving us encouragement that maybe we've got a similar geological setting. We're both located adjacent to the Copperfield granite, which is interpreted to be the source of, of the mineralized pegmatites. Um, and we got about 15 kilometer strike of that. Uh, we've just started our maiden drill program last year. We have confirmed that the um, pegmatites do continue uh, beneath the ground and they do have high grade uh, lithium in there. Um, we own 100% of that project except for one core tenement, which is owned uh, together with IGO, uh, who have a 25% interest. Big pegmatites on our ground there, um, as you can see. For those of you who recognize, that's Charles Wilkinson, who's about six foot six, so they're very big um, pegmatites. Uh, high grade rock chip samples, so we're just trying to find where those high grades can continue beneath, beneath surface. Our maiden drilling did find high grades, up to 1.8% in the drilling. Uh, we want more and we want thicker mineralization, so we've started a big drilling program this year, 20,000 meter campaign, uh, only a part of the way through that, so hopefully, Stand by, there could be some great exploration news coming soon. And nickel, of course, uh, most of you probably already know, we've made some fantastic shallow discoveries across, across about a 5.5 kilometer strike of the cathedral's belt, fantastic high-grade nickel, high-grade copper, high-grade cobalt, and high-grade platinum group metals. Um, maybe there's 30,000 tons of metal across that belt. Uh, it's not really enough for us to get too excited. We're trying to find the big 100,000 ton deposit that will really, really get the market excited. We know that we can commercialise this uh, mineralisation. We've done uh, met work with XPS in Falconbridge. Uh, they're experts at this commodity suite of, of nickel, copper, PGEs. Um, so we've just got to try and find more. and have got a few ideas to pursue there. The Wolganji project is, as I said, something we acquired earlier this year. It's uh, south of Kalgoorlie, uh, west of Cambalda. Uh, prospective for lithium, nickel copper sulphides, and rare earths. Some of our neighbors have been announcing encouraging uh, exploration results. Venus metals on rare earths. Uh, Auroch yesterday announced some very good lithium results. Uh, so we hug about a 70 kilometer strike of the Ida fault, big crustal fault, which is a control on many uh, significant uh, mineral deposits uh, in WA. Lots of exploration still to be done there, but we think it's really quite prospective. And to the east there is a nice package of tenements uh, right up against uh, the contact of the granites and the greenstone belt. Uh, proven myth lithium territory there with Mount Marion, Bald Hill, uh, Pioneer Dome, etc. The Patterson Project up in the Patterson province. Uh, we have two tenements there. We drilled the first one last year, confirmed that we do have the right lithology, uh, the right kind of rocks to host copper gold mineralization. We didn't find the high grade stuff, but it's given us enough encouragement to keep going. Uh, so we're planning another uh, program this year for that one. The Agena project. Uh, our team were up there just this week getting access agreements signed with the farmers. So we're up uh, in the Northampton uh, region. Um, Lots of historical mining there for lead and zinc. Uh, our ground has got a bit of cover on it, so the old timers never touched that. It's too hard for them. Uh, we've started to roll out modern geophysics. Uh, we're seeing what we think is a layered mafic intrusion. That's a terrific uh, geological setting for possible nickel copper PGEs. Uh, first drilling hopefully will be uh, next quarter. Uh, I think we've got the farmers on side and the POWs in, in train, so we might get lucky there with a discovery out of left field. Broadview project uh, is also, as I said before, in the western Yilgarn, uh, just southeast of Julema, uh, in an area as well, um, uh, the southwest terrain that hosts Chalice's uh, discovery. Uh, we interpret two mafic intrusions there. Uh, Anglo-American impact uh, right next door to us, having similar sort of exploration. Uh, we hope to be on the ground drilling there as well uh, later this year. So uh, exploration and discovery is what we're about and, and drilling is the real test for this. Uh, we got drill program underway at Mount Alexander for the lithium, RC program 20,000 metres uh, up to that and possibly a lot more in, in terms of what we find in the ground uh, and also some diamond drilling so we can produce some more drill core like what you see there, um, some beautiful uh, pegmatites with lithium. 
Uh, also the maiden drilling at Agena and Broadview scheduled for second and possibly third quarter. And also Will Ganji uh, still doing some uh, early work there uh, and hopefully we can get drilling there as well. Uh, we are on the lookout for other projects. Um, uh, we were hoping to announce something today but it didn't get in over the line. But uh, stand by, you might hear something by tomorrow. That's the presentation. Thank you very much.